I did it. I watched another Mario Bava movie. This one is called Baron Blood. Ooh, Baron Blood. That sounds like it's going to be scary. Uh, let me see if I can remember this plot line. Because uh, this is pretty fucking stupid. This guy, he uh, takes some time off from college to go to Austria. Because that's where his family was originally from. And he wants to learn more about his family. And mainly this baron that was there, one of his ancestors that uh, was like a Vlad Tepes type guy, you know, that would just like kill people and like impale their bodies around the castle. And, you know, and uh, well, the baron had one time burned a witch and before she died, she put a curse on the baron that he would eventually come back life but what kind of fucking curse is that oh i curse you to come back to life after you die uh that way i can have my revenge on you but she's dead so how the fuck's that gonna work right anyway that doesn't matter because it's not the curse that brings the old baron back it's the this american guy the guy that's visiting there he had found some old parchment paper over at his granddad's house and this has a spell on it that he can bring the Baron back by using the spell. So I don't know if it's this spell, the witch's curse or whatever. Anyway, him and some slag, they read the the parchment and then you know, the Baron's back, you know. And it also has like, a, like an addendum, like maybe some little fine print that they can use to send him back to being dead or whatever. But they accidentally drop that shit in the fire um so the baron's back and he's killing people and he's just a guy with real shit makeup like like a burn type looking thing and he's wearing the big hat and cloak you know like the shadow uh yeah he's killing people in uninteresting ways or whatever and uh well the thing they're renovating the castle too they want to put the castle on the market and this guy, rich guy, pops up and he buys the castle. This guy in a wheelchair. And like, well, who is this guy? Hmm. Could it be he's the Baron? Yes, he's the fucking Baron. And uh, I don't know. The lady all of a sudden has a medallion that she's supposed to use to send the Baron back. When this popped up, I don't know. They go to see a witch. They can communicate with the old witch. I think something like that. Yeah, but what does she tell him? Not really fucking anything. Anyway, she drops the medallion accidentally on one of the bodies that the Baron had killed. And that sets in motion a thing where all his victims rise from the dead. Because only they can kill the Baron. This is fucking stupid. This is some dumb, dumbass shit. And it's boring. Uh... Mario Baba, you suck again. You just plain suck. And I know you got people that love you and are going to tell me different. That he's a genius, you know. He's an auteur, a renaissance man. He's just a prick. Prick making shitty movies that I don't want to watch. But I think I've got like five more. One, two, three. I don't, you know, too many is what I have. Too many to watch. And... I will never, ever trust a movie historian or, you know, somebody that has aficionado written after their name again, you know, because y'all are pricks, too. This is out of character. I can't, I can't uh, imagine you saying all this negative stuff about Mario Bava. Mario Bava. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> this was just stupid, fucking stupid. Made no goddamn sense. It was all over the place. They introduced these characters out of nowhere. Fucking dumb. <laughs>